Welcome to edusati.com, your partner in education. In this lecture, we'll discuss the basics of grammar and the use of articles in the English sentences. Before we proceed further, let us discuss what exactly is grammar. Grammar is a set of rules or protocols that help us to structurize the language that we use. In the absence of these rules or protocols, the communication would become difficult and there may be discrepancies between whatever is being spoken and whatever is being interpreted. The grammar may be classified as the sentence grammar or the word grammar. Sentence grammar basically helps us to structurize, structurize the use of sentences in communication. It helps us to form and use the correct sentences wherever required. Word grammar works on the words being used in the sentences. It helps us to interpret which word would be the most pertinent word and should be used here. In the sequence, word grammar always precedes sentence grammar. In other words, Sentence grammar follows word grammar. We start our discussion of word grammar and understand why do we need to use word grammar. Word grammar is required to understand that whether or not this word is correct to be used in this sentence or not. We may be astonished to know that a misplaced word can change the entire meaning of sentence. For example, in the sentence, only Bob ate, the word only justifies that nobody else apart from Bob ate. Whereas if I write Bob only ate, here only justifies that Bob did nothing else apart from eating. Thus, only can change the meaning of the sentence. This can be the impact of use of incorrect word grammar. For example, in this sentence, in these three sentences, the word iron is used in three, three different forms. For example, in the first sentence where I say the box is made of iron, iron is the name of the element which is used to make the box. Thus, it is acting as a name or a noun. In the second sentence, he is the iron man of India, iron is qualifying or telling you the quality of the man. Man is a noun here and iron tells you the quality of a noun, it acts as an adjective. I will iron my shirt. Here iron is being used to justify that you will press or iron your shirt, which is an action that is happening. Here, iron is justifying an action, it is being used as a verb. Thus, the same word which is iron is being used in three different forms to justify three different things in these three sentences. Thus, iron can be used in multiple ways and this is a discussion on word grammar. Now, let us move further and discuss the very first element of word grammar, which are articles. We all know that articles are of three in number, a, an, and the. Before we proceed with the discussion of how to use a, an, and the, let us discuss why do we need to use an article. What makes us to write an apple but only tall? For example, in a sentence, I usually write Bob 
is a student whereas in another sentence i write bob is tall what makes me to put the article a in front of student whereas no article in front of tall the reason is that student is being used as a noun as a collective noun as a common noun here which justifies a community it is the name of a community or a group and i want to say that bob belongs to this community of the group thus he is one person who also is a student so i write he is a student in this case where i say bob is tall being tall is the personal quality of bob it is telling you about the structure or stature of bob it is the personal quality of bob thus i do not put any article in front of tall by this discussion we get to know that we would use an article before the common nouns so as we can justify that the subject of the sentence or the person who is doing the work of the sentence in the sentence basically belongs to or is one among that very community as in the case of a student for bob we can divide the articles in two different forms the definite article and indefinite article the definite article or definite articles are used in front of those common nouns where both the speaker and the listener are aware about the object whereas indefinite articles are used for general sentences for example i say a doctor let us suppose a doctor came to my rescue now if i am speaking this to you and i say a doctor came to my rescue this means that any doctor whom you are not aware of you don't know who is this doctor came to help me but if i but in the other case where i am talking to you and i say the doctor came to my rescue in this case you are aware who is this doctor thus when i use a definite article i'll always use it in front of a very specific specific or a particular noun whereas indefinite articles are used for general sentences in general uh, in a very general way as we've discussed is yet indefinite articles are of two types a and a a is used before the nouns that start with consonant sounds and an is used with the nouns that start with vowel sounds now mind it i use the word sounds here and not vowels or consonants for example i say a car a boy a pen likewise an ink pot and an enemy the choice of the use of article depends on the sound for example i say unit now unit starts with u which is a vowel we have five vowels a e i o and u and the rest of the alphabet are consonants so although it starts with a vowel but it is pronounced as u net so the pronunciation is as like that of a consonant so since it's pronounced as a consonant i'll put a in front of unit so i say a unit again i say honest man so if i've written honest man and i need to put an article in front of honest man i need to determine which article do i put 
either it should be a or an, I check the pronunciation of honest. The pronunciation is not honest, it is of honest, which is like honest. That is the sound of O. And since, since it's a sound of O, which is a vowel, I write an honest man. Thus, the choice of a or an depends on the pronunciation and not the spelling. Try these questions and try to guess which of the following articles, which of the following indefinite article, a or an, would precede these words. The answers are on the right side of your screen. Let's discuss. Now I said a one-man army. Although one starts with O, but it is pronounced as like it starts from V, which is a consonant. So since it starts with a consonant sound, I choose A as my correct answer. Again, R. It's pronounced as R. Since it's pronounced like it starts from a vowel, I choose AN as the answer. Ink pad. It's pronounced with E. That is a vowel sound. I write ink pad. European man. It sounds like European man, which is, that is, it sounds like a consonant. So I write a European man. Yad. It's Yard. It sounds like y again. A yard. One rupee note. The same concept applies here. And I write a one rupee note. Lastly, we have an orange. An orange starts with a vowel sound. I write an orange. Now we move to the definite article, which is the. Now, whenever I put the in front of any noun, this means that both the speaker and the listener are aware of what the thing is, of, of the thing that is being talked about. The is used with specific and particular things. For example, if I write the car is of blue color, I mean that any particular car about which we are talking, now supposingly I and you are talking, and I say the car is a blue color, this means that you also know which car is being talked about, and I also know which car is being talked about. So both of us are aware about the car, so I will say the car is of blue color. But what if I write A car is of blue color. Now this becomes a general statement. Since I've written a car is of blue color, this would mean that any car, any car in this world is of blue color. Why? Because now you and I are talking in general. And since we are talking in general, this becomes a general statement. And this means that Every car in this world would be of blue color only. So the is particularly used for specific cases. For example, I say the book you want is out of stock. This means that you want a particular book. If I write a book you want is out of stock, it could be any general book. If I say the cow is a useful animal, this means that there's a that you're talking about cow only. You're not talking about any domestic animal. You're talking particularly in the case of a cow. One thing that we must keep in mind is that articles are 
always used in front of singulars and not plurals. We can never say a students. Since students is a plural, we cannot use any article here. But yes, we write a student. Why? Because student is a singular noun. Now that we've discussed where to use an article, we will move and discuss where not to use an article. Articles are never used in the front of proper nouns, that is particular specific names. For example, it is just London and it is not the London. Again, Thailand, it is not the Thailand. Supposingly, the great author Vikram Seth will never say the Vikram Seth. But there is an exception to the given rule. The exception states that if you're using a name as an adjective, you can use the in front of this name. Now, for example, in this sentence. I said he is the Amitabh Bachchan of our class. Now although Amitabh Bachchan is being is a proper name, it's a name of a person, but it is being used as an adjective. When I say such a sentence, I mean that this person, that is he, either looks like Amitabh Bachchan or he acts like Amitabh Bachchan. I'm comparing him to Amitabh Bachchan. I'm putting them on the similar scale. Since this is the scenario wherein I'm using Amitabh Bachchan as an adjective for him, I will write the in front of Amitabh Bachchan. But if I consider this sentence that Amitabh Bachchan is a fine actor, I will not put any article here. Why? Because here Amitabh Bachchan acts as a proper noun. This exception is true for unique names as well as for heavenly bodies. So the names of heavenly bodies are also preceded by the. I say the sun because sun is a heavenly body. Earth. I say the earth because earth is a heavenly body. Himalayas. I say the Himalayas because Himalayas are heavenly body. Ganga. Since Ganga is a heavenly body, I say the in front of it. Likewise, I use the in front of Mahabharat or Ramayan or such an epic. I write the Mahabharata because Mahabharata is a unique name. And since it is a unique name, I will write the in front of it. The next rule says that we'll never use an article in front of materials such as iron, aluminium, bronze, wood, plastic, etc. For example, I'll never say the chair is made of the plastic. I just say the chair is made of plastic. I've not written any article here because plastic is the name of a material. And since it's a name of a material, it will never be preceded by any article. But what if I write the plastic chair is strong? Is the sentence correct? Yes, the sentence is correct. But then why am I using the in front of plastic if it is correct? The reason is that here, plastic is not a name. 
it is the quality of the chair it is acting as an adjective since it qualifies the chair what sort of chair a plastic chair so since plastic is not a name it is acting as an adjective i can write the plastic chair here Likewise, we never use articles in front of emotions, abstract nouns, or uncountable nouns. For example, happy, sad, virtue, honesty, etc. Thus, I say, Ram is happy. I will never say Ram is a happy or the happy or Ram is a honest or the honest. I just say Ram is happy. But what if I say Ram is a happy man? Is the sentence correct? Yes, the sentence is correct. Because happy here is not a noun, it is qualifying the man, which is an adjective, which becomes an adjective. Since it becomes an adjective, I can put a here. So thus it becomes a correct sentence. As we've already said, we can never use articles in front of plurals. So, children is a plural. I will never say the children like chocolates. I'll say children like chocolates. Computers. If it's a single computer, I'll simply say a computer. But since there are many computers, I'll not put any article here. Articles are not used before the names of meals. So I am not going for a dinner. I am going for dinner. And lastly, articles are never used in front of the unique positions. Now, for example, in an organization, there is a single CEO. So I would just say Bob is elected as CEO of this organization. I'll never say he's elected as a CEO or the CEO, nothing like that. I'll just say he is selected as CEO. But yes, if Bob is elected as some member of a committee, supposingly there is this committee and Bob is a member of this committee, I'll say he's a member of some committee. Can you fill in the correct article in these questions? It could have a, and the, or no article. Now, since I am saying that copper is useful, I'll say copper is a useful metal. The reason being that if I write copper is the useful metal, it would mean that no other metal is useful. Since I would start specifying that out of all the metals, only copper is useful. But there are many other metals which are useful. So I write among them, those good metals there is copper so I write copper is a useful metal. He is not an honorable man because honorable honor starts with the sound of O. Honest man speaks the truth. Why? Because I'm specifying what does he speak. He speaks truth since it's a specific sort of statement so it becomes the truth. Varanati is a holy city. Why? Because there may be many holy cities out of which one is Varanasi. So I write Varanasi is a holy city. The lion is the king of the jungle. The reason being I say 
lion i am specifying who is the king lion so i write the lion what is he he is the king and of like which place it is of the jungle in all the three cases i am specifying who is the lion what is he the king and where the jungle french is dash easy language i say an easy language why because easy starts with a vowel sound lastly ravi bought dash horse dash ox and dash buffalo since he's bought only one of these and it could be any horse any ox any buffalo i write a horse and ox and a buffalo this gets us to the end of the discussion of articles